how does a full-time grad student not lose her mind during midterm season? That midterm just finished and I ran away. She reads books, too many books actually. She also runs, journals, works to live and takes her job of just being a girl very, very seriously. We both saw the same guy downstairs. Being a student is an important part of my life and definitely takes up a lot of my time, but I definitely don't let it be the most important part of me and it's definitely not the most interesting But sometimes, either. unfortunately, it does take over a little bit. So here is another realistic what I read in a week. Hey guys, I have a midterm tomorrow. <laughs> That's why, sorry, we're starting the video barefaced. Today is gonna be a study day. Like, I'm trying to camp out. Put on my uniform, an oversized hoodie, shorts on, and then baby, baby face on. Let's talk about books that I'm reading. I'm actually in the middle of two books. They're both romance books, actually. So the first one is Just for the Summer by Also Look at My Kindle. I kind of want, like, I keep seeing people having, like, the vinyls that make it colorful, like, the pink one. Isn't so cute. Look at this one. It says, Gatekeep Gaslight Girl Boss. It's so cute. I started just for the summer. Abby Jimenez is one of my favorite authors ever. I'm only 12% of the way through. Page 32. I feel like a lot of romance books are really, really hit or miss for me. So I have set authors that I know that I love, and Abby Jimenez is one of them. If Abby Jimenez has one fan, it's me. Basically, both of them have a curse. Whoever they're with, when they break up, that person then goes on to find their soulmate, and it's just been happening like that for the past couple of years, and they're like, what the heck? Like, what's happening? And then the two of them meet each other, and they're like, we should just date each other and then break up so that we can then find our soulmates and or it cancels out head mask you know? and books like this make me delusional it makes me deluded into thinking that i will 100 percent find the love of my life when i'm like 28 29 financially stable then i'm gonna find a guy in finance six five blue eyes so i will keep reading books like this i've seen people like crying about this book i'm only 12 percent of the way through because i actually randomly started another book and this one is a hockey romance takes place in college so we have really i feel like i love reading about college romances but i know that i'm meant for like a late 20s romance so i'm reading on my phone because not that I pirate books but for some reason this one had a problem transferring onto my kindle and this one I'm oh I'm already 41% of the way through I actually saw this in a reel it was one of those like scenario reels that authors put up for their own books I'm always skeptical of those and they're always super super hit or miss for me especially because it's like a hockey romance I was like mm, I've never really liked a hockey romance I looked at the comments and everyone was gassing this author gassing this book up so much and I was like wait and the scenario intrigued me because it was like a figure skater who walks in on the captain of the hockey team having like a panic attack and she like calms him down and it's like the only time that he's like vulnerable I was like I mean that up, girl breakfast, girl lunch, girl dinner. But I love this book. I think it's because I love the boy in it, Reese. Like, I love the girl in it too. She's like a sibling caretaker. Like she takes care of her two little brothers. Honestly, so far, like I'm eating it up. I will not lie to you. I forgot my lunch at home, but my friend who is an angel gave me some of her food. So I made myself a cup of tea. Everyone is studying right now. We both saw the same guy downstairs. Oh, like I saw a guy like, I think he'd be like, I think you'd like him. You know me so well. If you are a quiz girl over an Anki girl, then we are one. I picked up on studying just for the summer at the same time just on a whim but weirdly these two books actually are quite similar in both of them the girl is the one who is like more reluctant to really really commit not because she's a player or anything like that but just because it's just real life issues or like other commitments the boy is the one who's like down bad ugly crying at the gym for her welcome to sunny study room once again i'm 35 percent of the way through just for the summer page 133 because for some reason this one does have pages on it there's a girl in our class same name as the main character in this book and they low-key look the same like she's beautiful the girl in my class i literally want to send this book to her i need you to read this book because you are exactly the main character something about actually it's not something about i just like these type of men when men are like so shy and flustered on the inside and you get to like read their inner dialogue of them being like so flustered because of the girl it's like so cute the moment that he sees her for the first time in person and it's like wow she's beautiful like um insane oh my gosh like this man is so down bad for her the date that he plans. I'm literally addicted. This is so bad. I need to study. Like my friend is literally here on a grind. Everyone's on a grind right now. Except for me. This is what I've done. This is why I can't start like good books when I know that I'm busy. Like why would I? It's self-sabotage. Born to be an academic weapon. Forced to be a hyper fixated book girly. I haven't worn my hair curly like this in such a long time. Our midterm today is actually a paper midterm. Which I haven't done one of those since first year. Anyway, I'm here to update that. I actually finished just for the summer. Oh my god, I loved it. I gave it a four stars. And this morning, I was reading more of Unsteady. I'm 53% of the way through. And actually, weirdly, these two books are like kind of similar. Both kind 
kind of have like the one of the characters has like a neglectful problematic parent and they're trying to get custody of their siblings in just for the summer it was justin and then in unsteady it's the girl sadie i i see why people were like crying at the end of this book it got very like serious at the end oh and this book has the quote that i saw all over pinterest which was you're not asking too much he said you were just asking the wrong person ask me instead I'm like what do you mean i'm reading through these quotes and honestly both of them are just like such good people like they really deserve each other and they deserve their happy ending what happens when water gets into a crack and it freezes it expands makes the crack bigger unhealed trauma is a crack and all the little hard things that trickle into it that would have rolled off someone else settle then when life gets cold that crack gets bigger longer deeper it makes new breaks all right i read that i was like oh She's a genius. Why not forgive in a world where you can choose anger or empathy? Always choose empathy. I might do that one. Also, the cover to this book is like so misleading. <laughs> hey guys. That midterm just finished and I ran away. Of course, everyone after the exam is like talking about it and when the answers and I always avoid the crowd like the plague because as soon as I finish a test, I don't want to think about that test until I get that test back and then I just want to be slapped across the face with my mark when it comes out. I don't know if I want to start this book or if I want to keep reading Unsteady. I'm just going to read for the next 20 minutes until I have to go back to class. Um, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. I honestly never really got the hype with the hockey boy vibe. However, if hockey boys are anything like Reese from Unsteady, now I understand the hype and I am 10 toes down. After a really bad accident during a game where he got attacked by another hockey player, he's been having like PTSD panic attacks, but no one knows about it until Sadie, who's a figure skater, literally keeping her whole family alive on her bare back. Her father's an alcoholic, so she has to take care of her little brothers, who Reese also happens to be a hockey coach for. And honestly, the relationship that Reese has with Sadie's little brothers too, Maybe I just like the soft hockey boys question mark. Okay guys, I'm back home. It's five. I'm meeting at seven. Another meeting at 7 30. I'm 75 mm percent -hmm. of the way through unsteady now. I did really want to work on one of my assignments. And we have another assignment that's due on Friday, which is a group assignment. I'm about to fall asleep. I did finish Unsteady. I rated it a four star. I think this is actually like the only hockey romance that I finished and like genuinely like. Also, I searched up the author. I was like trying to stalk her because I needed to know if there were other books in the series and what was happening because I can think of like five <laughs> companion novels. I, I wrote them all in my head. Um, so I'm gonna share. Peyton, if you're listening, okay, I want my royalties on this. First of all, the parents. Okay, first of all, I love the fact that Reese didn't actually have mommy issues or daddy issues. I feel like that's like a first. Parents are just like so cute and so madly in love. In my head, I was like, are they gonna get like a prequel book? Because why does it seem like they are. They have like inside jokes and stuff. We actually got a little bit of their love story. And then I was like, wait a second. I need that in a book. He's 24. She's 33 with a baby. They fall in love. He's a famous NHL player at the time. Uh, give me the book. Second is one of Reese's teammates. There is like <laughs> the goalie on the team. Like I want his book so bad. I want him to have a romance so badly. He's like massive, but he has like a heart of gold and he's like kind of like calmer and quieter and like really sweet. And I'm like, I'm so intrigued. Like give me his book. I think it was Bennett. Third, this one's kind of jail. Third is actually like maybe like person you would consider to be the villain in this book. A hockey player who's like really terrible and like such a menace. At the end of the book though, he was like low-key like turning things around. And I was like, this man has the potential to turn this whole thing around. This whole shindig around. He is quite horrible in this book, but I feel like if he gets like the very last book in the series but we see him in the other books in the series like progressively becoming like a good person he just has the potential to i think ruin everyone's careers i think he was torin and then sadie's little brother he's also a hockey player 15 in this book i would love his book because he's like such a good kid it's written in the stars he has main character potential i think that he needs to get like the last oh or he is the main character of the companion sequel book series after torin's book which is gonna be the last book in this generation's book series i've never like actually went to go find a romance author's instagram and like look at all of her reels and stuff so that i can get like the insider information on like the other books and like hints and easter eggs i've literally never done that ever in my life um i did i did for peyton corinne i never really read romance books like back to back to back to back like romance romance books but this time i guess i was in a mood because i ended up picking up wild love by lc silver it's like a small town romance childhood friends but brother's best friend and also billionaire trope but then also somehow like boss trope at the same time oh and also single dad except he's a sperm donor and his daughter just shows up his name is also ford grant which is the most billionaire rich name i've ever heard in my life if you name your baby ford grant he's gonna come out of the womb in a three-piece suit morning it's 6 50 eating my breakfast oh 
I have a headache. On Wednesday, I always have a headache because I have to wake up early and then immediately become extroverted. And then I have to go to school and also be extroverted. But you know what? I'm gonna do what I did last time, just take a nap today. If I can, Loki, I might have to do some work. I really am introverted, even though no one thinks so at first glance because I'm like super socially outgoing. I really but do enjoy my job and I think it's probably one of the most privileged jobs that you can have as a college student. I just have a finite pool of like social energy and it really gets sapped out when I have work. I didn't film any more of school because during class, something not school related but something happened that gave me so much anxiety like the most i've ever had probably my adult life where like my stomach would just like drop every single second i also think that i forgot to mention this but i had therapy i think it was on monday and i feel like having that appointment always just like recenters me a little bit even if there's like no ongoing crisis i just like it to know that i have it every single month every time something comes up i'm like okay i can bring this up in therapy it's just like a safety net especially if you're a student that brings me perfectly to the sponsor of this video which is better help so thank you better help for sponsoring better help will connect you to a licensed therapist who is trained to listen to you to give you helpful unbiased advice you can go to betterhelp.com slash sunny kim i'll have it also linked in the description to answer a couple questions in a little survey questionnaire and then they will match you and the best part is that you can do it all from like your phone or computer or tablet at home which is what i do i literally took mine in a random study room at school so easy you can video call phone call message and you will normally be matched to a therapist within 48 hours which is amazing so if you want to be connected to a therapist through better health from the comfort of your own home you just go to betterhelp.com slash sunny kim or pick any kim when you sign up you'll get a special discount on your first month so thank you again to better help for sponsoring I'm back home it's 3 30. i decided that i desperately desperately need to go on a run and i think that will help i think that i also want to tidy my room after i come back i think that will also help and then after that i'm gonna have work and then finish my assignment actually let me update you about my book progress 22 percent through wild love nothing's like really happening in this book like it's it's literally just like vibes and like nothing else even the plot about this girl being like hey i'm your biological daughter because you're my sperm donor now she's just like around but there's like nothing really like happening the running did help gave me like 20 minutes of blissful mindlessness but of course i needed to come back and empty all of my thoughts onto paper luckily through therapy i've learned how to not catastrophize my anxiety i just know that i need to sit tight and do all of these things that you're gonna see in this vlog for time to pass and the anxiety to just go away i did however read 25 percent of wild love and then decided to dnf it um who's surprised chemistry between characters is everything to me and unfortunately i feel like this book fell into the trap of like these characters seem like nothing more than just the trope that they are and did a 180 to pick up the prisoner's throne instead okay, i finished work i've been working on this assignment for the past like two hours i still feel anxious my lips are always the first sign especially when i was in high school i got two lip infections two separate times my bottom lip would like swell up to like twice the size that's that's how you know folks but I'm trying to get ahead of this thing. I think this is the bomb.com. Anyway, since I'm still anxious and I want to put myself in a better mood, I am going to put up the next poll what our book club book should be for June. <gasps> How special, birthday month. You guys don't know, I have a book club on Fable. It's free. I'll have it linked in the description. So make sure you guys join the book club. <gasps> Hey, if I just have my books, everything's gonna be okay. It's just my books and me against the world. I really don't want to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> I have a group meeting in 10 minutes. I was treadmilling once again. I saw this Asian guy come in, a whole sleeve of tats on like one arm and like a gaping muscle tank, like you know the vibes. And he was really cute. I mean, not for me, but I just know that one of my friends, oh, she would eat him up. Guys, that group meeting started at eight. It's 11 now and we just ended the call. <laughs> I kind of want to read my book, go to sleep, and then maybe just wake up early tomorrow. Grind that assignment out that I was doing today. I just need to do the write-up. <laughs> oh Good night. Good morning. Happy Friday. It's 9. I actually woke up at like 6. Um, and my supervisor texted me at 6.01 because she's on a different time zone than me to move our meeting, which is normally at noon, to 3. So now my morning has really opened up. I'm eating breakfast and watching Abbott Elementary. 17% of the way through Prisoner's Throne. I actually forgot how just like good Holly Black's writing is. Like it's good and fun. Like I don't want to finish my breakfast because that means I need to work on my assignment. Okay, it's 10. Haven't done any work because I decided that actually I'm gonna film a YouTube video, book rec video, which always takes a long time to film and it always saps all of my energy. I also ended up doing my makeup for it, but I want to take it off right now. No, I haven't done any work. And yes, I did go on another run Um, because I'm still anxious. I already sweat in this. But I'm just gonna sweat again. And then I'm gonna do laundry tonight, so I don't wanna hear it. Do you guys see? What even happened? I don't know where those two scratches came from. I was reading my book and doing my little research stuff. I'm 28% of the way through, by the way. So my friends in my group just emergency texted me to recruit me to go back onto our dock and make edits and make cuts. So 
That's what I'm doing right now for the girly. Even though I hate like the concept of a group project as in like trying to coordinate everyone's schedules and everything. Luckily, I love every single girl in my class. Literally, like these are all my besties. Like Anyway, The Prisoner's Throne is the second book to the Stolen Air series, which is part of the Folk of the Air series, except it follows Oak, who's like a kid in the original series, um, which I love when they do that, especially with like siblings who are like children in the first series and they grow up and get their own book. Like, I can we have more of that, please? I don't know whose booty I need to kiss to get more of those. I think it's because you get so attached to the characters because you've like been with them for such a long period of time. It's 4 3 now. I've literally barely done anything because I've been like so, for some reason, just like this week has just like been such an anxious week. Fun fact about me okay, it's not fun, it's just lore, but I get really, really bad travel anxiety. Was I stranded in like a past life? It's not even the idea of like going to a new place and living there, which is what I'm gonna do for the summer. It's not that. That does not scare me. What scares me is literally just the travel part of getting there. And it's not even like I have a fear of flying either. Like when I'm on the plane, I'm like chilling. It's just the process of like the travel. I just think like there's so many steps and I am like such a catastrophic thinker that I quite literally think of every single possible worst scenario that could go wrong for every single one of those steps and like I fixate on it and it gives me so much anxiety that literally just booking this flight this like sub two hour flight just gave me so much anxiety and I had my parents on call with me too and it's so ridiculous because there are some people who like go on like international intercontinental flights like every month I don't think I've said this on my channel yet I have my first placement normally it would be like in the city that I'm in but I applied separately and got accepted to do a placement that is like more remote and in more rural areas. It's still exciting and of course I'll vlog the entire thing. I'm literally gonna be living the big city girl moves to a small town trope for the summer and hopefully I find like a lumberjack hot small town boyfriend. This town is actually full of minors. I think that's the main export. Get ready for those vlogs. Thinking about that, I feel like just contributed to the anxiety for this week, but it's okay because Abbott Elementary is saving the world. Everyone was sleeping on that actor, except I knew him and I loved him first from Let It Shine, the best Disney original movie. Every Friday night, I also clean my room and do my laundry. I just feel like it's a really good way to decompress and it's the best feeling ever to wake up on Saturday to a completely clean room. I also take an everything shower, so clean hair, clean everything, new start. Ideally, I would completely decompress and just read a book and not have to do any schoolwork but you know when school calls when academia calls i'm just kidding i completely do not take for granted the opportunity to be studying at a school like this but the fact that it's now saturday morning and i'm literally in the exact same spot same position just with clean hair doing the same assignment it's like making me very angry but then i leverage my immigrant child guilt to my advantage and it lights a little fire under my little booty good morning happy saturday well what's 6 a.m which I feel like I do that because I want time to read but I also need to do schoolwork So I'm like I just need to wake up extra early so I make sure that I have time to read 41% through the prisoner's throne Also, I called it you can't tell but my bottom lip Puffy. I like, low-key forget everything that happened in like the original trilogy And I feel like some of that stuff is like important to know for like the fallout like random characters where I'm like Have we met before? I have no idea who these people are except for Oak and Ren the two main characters I think this is one of those cases where I just love the boy in it so much. Oak. Okay, I just want to mother him So I'm finished my assignment. So I'm probably just gonna do that for the rest of the day But this is I guess how many pages I ended up reading for this week during midterm season You can subscribe down below if you haven't already and follow me on my socials are all linked in the description and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye Thank you.